So hello to the today's episode of Call of Its Battle Club. Yes, you are right with the hello. You there, the viewer, not the guy next to you, just you. And I hope you're going to enjoy this. It's a 15 PT 5K and a 4v4, obviously, which you should, which you, which you just so, should see. And I can't spell again. So that's great. This is a great start off. So this battle is going to be fought by me, Carlofit, Evil Boba and Ein Haraya against Enfurio, Falk09, Diamond Producer and Grepa. I, I know at least that Enfurio, Falk and Grepa are pretty decent players and uh, I don't really know about Evil Boba and Diamond Producer since they are pretty new players and I don't like to really set a statement for new players I would that they are since I don't exactly know how they produce on a normal basis but we'll see overall it's going to be a pretty even fight in my opinion but that might just show in the in the while the game progresses itself. Right now you can't tell anything. People might still fuck up their entire strategy and perform horribly. Might always happen, might never happen. We'll see. So once more, it's it's me with my unstoppable Scotsman tactic, and today it's Call of It with his Swiss neutrality tactic. I hope he isn't really going to be neutral since he is my ally, and I can't really count on my ally letting me die again, since that uh, happening of yesterday. But I'm certain that this won't happen again. I don't know if I really can cover the artillery because I'm having to focus my entire echo on my musketeers right now. So that's a quite good start for me. Oh, of course you're going to play slow. You're always slow and that's a bad thing. You should learn to play a bit faster, call of it. It's not always going to be a kinder party. Because we have to get a goddamn move on.
Hmm. Oh, there's my phone called by. I've already forgotten where it was. <laughs> but that's just perfect, I think. But since I found it again anyway, it's not going to matter. Fantastic. And I think I've already fucked up something because I don't exactly know why I can't make my last food upgrade right now. <laughs> well, now I get it anyway. Oh Christ, Carla. Use your head. <laughs> you don't have it on on your head so that don't so that it doesn't rain inside, do you? Of course, everyone remember, remember, remembers to my upgrades color fit. You can't expect everyone to be like you. Because that would literally be communism. But considering you are a communist, never mind then. Oh, no, I don't want to make up. I don't need make up. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not as old as color. I don't need makeup yet. Ah, call of it. You need your upgrades. You can't just go without any upgrades. Because I'm gonna go. 
because I've got my upgrades. You will never be okay. I bet you are gonna get steamrolled. <laughs> Yeah, I already thought like this. Oh, oh fucking hell. Get your artillery ass over here. All I have is musketeers right now and I'm still not finished upgrading my musketeers 100%, so I'm not going to get cannons anytime soon. Rather more, I'm going to fall back. <laughs> and apparently someone, somebody wants to attack me from the side. Which I'm prepared for, because I am uh, apparently unraidable. One does not simply rate the unraidable. There are three people on this front. I didn't expect that. Scottish formations are just superior to everything. Yeah, I'm chasing the peasants.
And they've got to learn how to aim. Okay, I'm going to do the Schliefen plan. I'm just going to go around while you wait there and distract them. Okay, they're distracted. You can just walk on there now. They don't have any guards there. <laughs> Some sacrifices must be made. And the proud Scots are always the first one to die anyway. Because the Englishmen are too fine for the front battle. <laughs> I guess that's the R.I.P. Ragoons for him. Who would do such foolish things? So just charge Dragoons into a formation of dead, the Musketeers of Scotland. I'm going to go for this little blob of an army. And I'm gonna go for their base, for their ugly little base. People just don't get that it isn't the Scottish men who are so strong that it's just me. I'm using them better than the most others. Since the Scottish musketeers cannot be spammed, they have a, a little less numbers than usual musketeers, so you have to use them smartly. And there come the next dragoons. My men are, are firing in all directions, and the dragoons are falling back. So I'm gonna blow up all of the shit so that he cannot recapture it. I'm gonna go and support our, our, um, our right flank now.
Oh, I forgot to use that one coal mine in my base because it was right between my barracks. <laughs> So the army has been organized and I'm coming down. Wait for me, I want some of the action as well. There's so many cannons of you, I don't even know if your army consists of cannons or of men. Or have you turned your men into cannons? That will be a, a logical excuse too. And I wouldn't advise charging your cannons into the enemy. So this game is over now, and I suppose, honestly, suppose it's going to be harder. But it, I do think that the right flank has helped better than I supposed, than, than I think it was supposed to be. So this is a GG then, and I suppose we are going to see tomorrow in the next battle. So enjoy your day till then, and uh, I'll see you then.